Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Marks coming at you over the interwaves with another StarCraft 2 cast. Uh, you can find me live on twitch.tv slash marsh where this is being cast live right now and otherwise well you can listen to me on the youtube channel which you're most likely going, uh, looking at right now anyway we have a game which i randomly got off the internet for you um it's either uploaded by this guy which probably means he won or it was uploaded by this guy which probably means he won so if you're not the guy the uplo that uploaded this then you may look like an ass in a little bit. That's kind of the way this works, and I'm sorry. Anyway, over on the northwest side of Apotheosis, it is a freak. His opponent in the southeast far corner of the climax is Praetor Phoenix. Now, I will be referring to you as a Phoenix because, well, there's no need for honorifics, is there? It's just me. You, a couple of fans on YouTube. Now we can, we can, what was that, tutoyer? We refer to each other by two, I do believe. Freak is going to make sure that nothing weird is going to go on by Praetor Phoenix, sending out that scouting drone. In the meantime, we have two gateways coming on down for both. Phoenix gets his down just a little bit earlier, and at the meantime, he has more workers. So Phoenix is just a little bit better on top of his uh, game and then his opponent. But Freak has got the earlier gas. So it depends on what the technological follow up is to this to see whether that makes sure. In the meantime, his opponent is going to get a scouting down as well. So what does he see? Well, he sees two gateways and he sees his hibernating score. It is currently two minutes into the game, meaning that there is no tech down just yet, although it is quite possible that it gets put down right now and moves on a back. His opponent is going to scout, well, something fairly, fairly similar. Now, there is a, a divergence between these two uh, game styles uh, right here as we have Freak pumping out two Stalkers over here, whereas his opponent is uh, putting out the first Adapter and a Mothership Core. And this is important. Why? Well, because Freak is going to get his Freak on. I'm sorry, I'm probably supposed to say that in a Missy Elliott kind of voice, but... Oh, is he going... Wait, wait. Did he... No, he saw that, he saw that, he knows what's going on. If he's going to get this uh, probe before it builds anything, then this effectively shuts that down. We may have a slow warp in of something, but uh, yeah, loses his own uh, probe right there as well. Um, sees that there's nothing proxy. This is actually, this is a proper pro proxy location, but this is unheard of. And uh, this, if you are a product player out there, I suppose is a very good reason to show you, like, don't put it here. Because if we check for a proxy here, we will sh uh, go past here. Is he actually going to ki uh, kill that before the shade finishes? No, he does not. Cancels the shade. We will go by here, and that means we will see it. Uh, no, we have two adapts versus uh, two stalkers. No more fun on that. Then you want to get on out of there because... Two stalkers versus uh, adepts, that is not something you're going to win. Does make sure that the stalkers uh, distribute their shots, and, and now he's going to go on back there. So, this Stargate going down here, right here, rather than down there, meaning that the Oracle or whatever he chooses to put out of there is going to be, uh, take a quite a bit longer time. As we do have a little bit of. Yep. Stalker fire being exchanged and those are depth shading on in there. Is he going to get one shot? One kill? One shot, one kill. Is he going to get a kill? Yes, he is. And in return, he is not going to get uh, the kill on that adept. Yeah. Nice little micro back and forth. We got Praetor with two more uh, uh, stalkers coming in and then two more because his warp gate just finished, meaning that he is ahead on uh, the uh, stalker account and his opponent are not going to be able to do anything uh, useful about it even puts down a second 
pylon to make sure he can overcharge, keeping that Mothership Core here just in case there's any shenanigans with Oracles. But due to that uh, defender's advantage and the fact that this pylon was denied, Phoenix can feel fairly comfortable in holding this position with just his army. Doesn't need that uh, Mothership Core right there. And now with the Immortal out, he should be just fine. And there is that Oracle. On the back of this, we've got, we've got the 29 probes versus the 26. And, oh, shoes that off right there. Uh, now he doesn't, that uh, moves his army on back, so we can't distract the army up the front, or the player even up the front. So we can sneak the Oracle in. So if uh, Felix is paying any sort of attention, so you just see this, and he can overcharge. Any point he wants. There you go, but uh, but freak as oh no, oh does he have a good position? Ah, oh, yep, no, does get that nice position and stays alive at the cost of or gets five kills and that was it. Oh, we've got a second oracle coming on in. So yeah, maybe you want to put another pylon over here, but there's two. Stalkers right here looking for the return of this Oracle. And at this point, you can say like, hey, you're all the way healthy again. So that must mean there are two of you. Shields uh, regenerating right there. And going to go back in, see what they can arrange. Uh, and there's a one uh, overcharge, but they go on out of range. And oh, the there is just in time the energy. No, only gets one of them. Very unfortunate. That was just enough. Oh, could have put that off earlier, actually. In answer to this, we have two adepts sh uh, shading on in, seeing what his opponent is up to, and seeing that his opponent is up to a gold base, as a matter of fact. Now, in order to counteract that, we have... Where did that thing go? There we go. We have War Prism. Uh, Phoenix moving on out, checking to see if he can uh, you know, threaten this position and then maybe warp in right here and get into his opponent's mineral line. Or he can just push, that's possible. He's got 43 armor supply, 223. And as long as he doesn't have to deal with the on overcharges, and the Mothership Core is very far away, he should be quite comfortable. Yep, he should be able to take out those uh, those pylons before that warp uh, warping. Yes, he does. Oh, very nice. And now there's no overcharge, and there's a lot of stalkers right here, and there's nothing to uh, take them up there. Two probes, that's three probes, and this base is the warping. Now, nope, doesn't move in with that one right there. And just say, you know what? I did my I did my job. I will pull back right now. Although he still got the army lead by a little bit and could choose to keep pushing if he so uh, if he so chooses, moves on in. We got two immortals, two to one, but there are uh, overcharges right there. And there's how much left? There's three of those left. So yeah, he could stall out this army quite a bit while he warps in additional uh, units, and he's known for high Templar. Most likely going to uh, put those into archons, and yeah. Don't hate that right here. Let's see if we can uh, force that other overcharge. Gets the uh, pylon. That does overcharge though. And loses nothing, I believe. Uh, blinks out with all of Starkers. And his opponent doesn't have blink yet. So that uh, means that every Stalker in Phoenix's army actually does the warping in such a way that it traps that. Uh, that and here we go once again. Yes, there are Archons, but those uh, Stalkers can be blink back. Uh, loses an Archon, loses another Stalker, but he has enough of it to just move on in there. And yes, there is another warping, but look at that. If he just uh, blinks a little bit better. No, actually, uh, Freak is holding on. Freak is holding on, but there are the last of the Immortals. Uh, now it's just... Four adepts and a stalker against a great many more uh, stalkers. I'm not even going to find down that right now. That's why we have this. Um, 15 stalkers, no mothership core. That is that a natural base uh, forfeited. And we want to uh, warp in a uh, sentry and block that up. Having to pull the probes uh, now that the, uh, the reinforcements are there. Uh, keeping those things in place, or at least they would if they didn't have blink. And here we are, still 15 stalkers, and GG. If you enjoyed this video, press that like button. If you'd like to see more of me, subscribe.